Do you notice that you spar differently in your dojo than you do in tournaments? I just realized that the other day. I started thinking back when I was taking Kempo Karate and all the students that I sparred inside the dojo. When I was sparring inside the dojo, I had the Kempo Karate curriculum. And I would look at, okay, BF, back fist. Reverse punch, RP. RH, roundhouse kick. And I would, and so I would look at all these, I would practice them kind of like kata style, and then we would practice them really slow against each other. And then when it came time to spar, I was doing the curriculum and not really focusing on open targets. If there was an open target, I wouldn't go for it because that's not what I'm training in. I'm training in the curriculum of Kempo Karate. So once I got away from that and I started focusing on, all right, what's open, then I would throw in and get my point. That's what most people do in a dojo system. That's what it, most people usually do inside their own dojo. Now, when it comes to sparring in tournaments, it's totally different because you're sparring complete strangers from another dojo, possibly even a different style of martial arts. So you're not gonna be focused on the curriculum. What you're gonna be focusing on is not getting your head ripped off, and you're gonna be focusing more on those open positions. And just like the start of this video, instead of standing in one spot, like a lot of them do, you're gonna be, you know, you're, you're gonna be moving around trying to gauge your distance, you know, seeing, seeing what they're doing. And you're gonna be focusing on those open positions. So stop sparring inside the dojo differently than what you do in tournaments. You should be sparring the same way in your dojo as you do on outside tournaments. If you like this video, please consider subscribing. Patreon.com backwards class M A Y Z 397. If you like this video, please subscribe. See you guys in the next video.